Part of the grand jury's decision to not indict is based on store surveillance video from inside Walgreens in Hamilton a week ago. Around 2.30 that morning, investigators say 34-year-old Kelly Brandon Forte held a knife on a female pharmacist in a drug and cash robbery. This is the knife. This is a 10-inch fixed blade skinning knife with a gut hook. Police say Forte, upon hearing footsteps, used the pharmacist as a shield, then broke off and moved down an aisle. Officer Kevin Rule, a nine-year veteran who had jumped the counter, got into position and ordered Forte to drop it. Instead, they say Forte, knife in hand, charged at him in very close quarters. Rule fired three times. Seeing that knife and making that decision, uh, by the time he was able to act, the suspect was literally on top of him. They were within um, three feet or less. In the span of eight seconds, the drama went from police confronting Forte to the last of the three shots. Officer Rule's action is credited with ending a lethal threat to himself and to others. Police say the pharmacist, held at knife point for several terrifying minutes, was afraid he might cut her throat. And Hamilton Chief Craig Buchheit says the officer was fully justified to use that lethal force. He met today with the father, stepmother, and some other family members of the Forte family. He says they are struggling, trying to process all this and grieving. Reporting live in Hamilton, John London, WWT News Five.